hello amazing and beautiful people you're welcome to my video today i'm ify and you're watching ify at tv if this is your first time of coming across my face you are highly welcome to this channel and for my old subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch me clicking on this video i really appreciate you today i'm going to be doing a clarification why my son is on medication why i accepted the medication all thanks to renoma empire i saw her um i saw a comment on my comment section on the medication video and i decided to make this video i know she's not the only one that would think that way i know a lot of people would think that way too but they are not bold enough to leave their comment the way she did and i want to say thank you sis for giving me the opportunity to make this video okay renoma empire was like this medication don't you think they may have like an having side effect now i want to clarify some things my son being on medication is not my home making or for me deciding that he has to go on medication and this is the medication he has to take my son frequent a therapy center and he have his um psychologist we have two psychologists that are monitoring him that are behind his progress so with the center psychologist following us also and we have our prescription doctor that is also like a form of a physician a children physician or should i call him pediatric uh, you know so we have all these people i did not just wake up and say yes i have to do this medication i have to give him this medication and i want to advise going on medication without a prescription is a very dangerous thing no one should try so talking about the medication and my updates on medication i share with you because i share my autism journey with you guys <laughs> with these amazing people that are watching me with you so i decided that finally that my son should go on medication at first i was so naive like every other person you know i was like no i don't want my son to be on any medication i don't want him to be a uh, like in vegetable i don't want him to be like a moron i don't want him to be so cool because he's hyperactive i was so naive in my thinking thinking all the negative things you know as a protective mother but i want to tell you they sat me down to you know to educate me more why my son should go on medication and me seeing a lot of things i decide and i accepted i and my husband together that medication is good for him my son is hyperactive and super duper active accompanied with autism to think of it a normal person not a, because autism person is a normal person sorry for my word or oh, it's also a normal person sorry for my word someone with autism and someone without autism that is not autistic there is a difference when you that is not autistic do a lot of things a lot of activity in the day maybe cleaning the floor mopping the floor um washing plates or going to work you are exhausted and you know that the next thing to do is to take a nap but in my son case he doesn't know that he has to take a nap instead he converts it into tantuming you know crying and yelling you know even sometimes i see him he gets tired his face is high is cloudy but he cannot just get to sit or or lie down and sleep sometimes i try to force him force i try to force him to sleep like in petting 
to sleep, it will just go haywire. That's go out of control and start tantuming the mop. Sometimes I just also put him, petting him to sleep. He will just jump up and start shouting. Someone that is almost sleeping, he will jump up again to show you that he cannot control it. And me seeing him go through that kind of thing, he will be almost sleeping and be walking. Me seeing him going through such a thing pains my heart. Sometimes I do cry, not because I'm weak, but me seeing him going through so much pain, I feel for him is my son. I want the best for him, like every mother would for their children. So I decided to accept. We decided to accept for him to be on medication. My son Dylan is now seven years. He's still in um, kindergarten. Yes, because he's hyperactive. He can't be in primary one because it's just like someone running and you are trying to teach that person mathematics. Can it work? The person will never understand what you are trying to explain. Even if he see me listening, he will not get it all because that person did not calm down. Imagine a motor, an engine, an engine running 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours. One day the engine will break down and I don't want my son to get to that level. I want to help him down. I want him to calm down so things will work for him. So he will be aware of things going on in his environment. So he will adapt to the system. So he will be better. It's good for me for him to calm down. Likewise, it's also good for him, for his progress to calm down. I will not be here for the rest of my life. I will not live forever. So I want to do everything in my power to make him better so he can be all autonomous on his own. So I share my journey with the medication for someone out there to know that, okay, if you have not been told about medication and you have an hyperactive autistic son, it's good to talk it, to speak with your psychologist and ask, I want to make people to get to know this information, what is going on around me, share with people. Unlike when I, my son started being autistic, I didn't see people share about autism. That was why I took it on myself. That was the one of the reasons why I opened my channel. Not only that, but because also I want to see you smile. I don't, I don't want to share only autism and making you always to like him being sad, crying for me. I want to also see smile on your face, just as I want to see myself smile. Like I open my YouTube channel to make myself happy, to take my mind out of some negative things. That's why I share my happy moments. Sometimes you see me share my cooking, share my family vlog, share some comedy because I love comedy. I want, I want to laugh and I want you to laugh also. Those are the things that like in console me through this journey. We go to the therapy center five days in a week apart from Saturday and Sunday that we don't go. So everything I do with my son is in line with the therapy center, with the specialist. So the medication you see my son or me talk about is being prescribed by the psychologist themselves and not me. My son was on a one medication before um, arteries but that wasn't working at all and we switched to new lecti that one will make him to sleep after two hours he take it and after that when he wakes up he wakes up with full energy and it's like we start from where we stopped before so now we have changed to another one 
which is uh, unto meal uh, something like that so that's what he's taking now that's what we have resort to give him now and i want to tell you maybe you're thinking that this thing are so dangerous the child will get adapt to it i'm not talking to only renoma empire i'm talking to a lot of people because i know a lot of people too will think this way if you think maybe the uh, medication are dangerous no because these people are professionals they have been in this field they study about this they know it so well so where they start from is they take it from the lowest to see the one that fits your child you understand that's why when we took actress it wasn't working at all we uh, entered new left it was like working but not so well now we are in and to me and when we started and to me and and to me we are not liking giving him because in our series we stop actually at 15 drops 15 in the morning 15 in the afternoon 15 in the night we got to 15 from three drops to 15 drop three times 15 15 15 in a day so now we have to stop that and enter into me when we are entering into me we started from one drop in the afternoon and two drop in the night gradually gradually and now my son is in four four drops because we see that is not yet come down and after some weeks again if it's not working the way it should be why the the psychologist the study and everything it's it's either they increase it or we change to another one until we get to see the one that worked for him if we don't get to see something that calmed him down he will not be able to be in school like his mates because my son go to the asilo need we call it here that's kindergarten it doesn't stay normally they resume at nine it doesn't stay uh they close at two but my son stays from nine that's some days that he will even go he stays from nine to twelve o'clock why because he wouldn't allow other children to be he will he would uh, i wouldn't say he would steal he would take their all their straws when they want to do uh, beyond uh, merendina that's break uh time he will take all their straws he will take all their plates and be eating uh, eating it on the table he needs to come down to be aware of things going on he doesn't play with other children he will take uh the toys he doesn't know that other children needs to play he's not doing it because he is wicked but because he doesn't understand he's not calm he's hyperactive he's always on the run so that is why i felt it's necessary and i know it's necessary because even the psychologist and the doctor said it is necessary for him to calm down without calming down he wouldn't adapt into knowing things that is going around going on around him i hope i explain so well i hope you get to understand that this is not something that will cause damage but um make him to calm down and adapt to the system which is very important for him for me for everyone around him okay Thank you so much for watching up to this extent. I really appreciate you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you and God bless you. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.